Your hardest times often lead to the greatest moments of your life. Today's success story features Dr. Eli Tian de la Sao, a consultant general surgeon at the Colonial War Memorial Hospital. Dr. de la Sao walked miles to get to school, knowing that those small steps would lead him to success. Sanyan Boiler with his story. Brought up in the interior of Naita Siri in the village of Rewasau, Dr. Ndelasau is the youngest of eight siblings. He missed his dad's working years in the Botocola gold mine and his parents had to farm to meet his education needs. Where we grew up is in the middle of, uh, if those of you who know Naita Siri, we are in the, the last village in Naita Siri, so our village is Rewasau. Uh, it's in the border. So past our village, you go to Navosa, you go to Namosi. Very remote. Um, when I was growing up, there was, um, you know, just uh, we, we walk to the to the schools. Uh, there was no no buses. Now now they have trucks that take the kids to school. So that's a, a challenge. Is the access to our villages? Eh? Coming to Suva is a, is a hard work. Um, uh, we have, you know, mum and dad has to plant and sell their crops and um, I don't you know, as far as I could, mum was not a very good uh, at coming to the market. So we sort of just give food and things to relatives for, for my school fees and things. The father of two says financial struggles continued as he moved from primary to secondary school, but he was blessed to have a government scholarship to pursue his studies overseas. Um, I, I had the choice whether to go to Fiji School of Medicine or take up this opportunity to go to New Zealand and study at Otago University. That's where I, um, I got my Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery uh, at Otago. Having spent the last 16 years in the medical field as a general surgeon, Dr. Ndelasau says his saddest moments are relaying bad news to families of loved ones. Giving bad news to patients. Eh? It's, uh, as a surgeon, I I'm always want to be giving good news, eh? but uh, it's not always the case. The good results, you know, there's always some bad moments there when uh, people, people uh, die. Uh, on our hands. Eh? We do the best we can uh, and things uh, doesn't go well. And uh, talking to family and uh, friends about this, this is, it's, it's really hard. Dr. Ndelasau fulfilled his promise to his late dad when he moved back to Fiji in June last year to serve Fijians. For the 42-year-old general surgeon, it's persistence that will take you a long way. I've gone a long way around it to becoming a surgeon, uh, but uh, I've achieved that through persistence, through prayers, uh, through fasting, and the support of your loved ones, uh, your family, your, your loved ones supported you through that. And as long as you've got the support of your loved ones, you keep on the dream and uh, don't give up. Dr. Ndelasau's key to success are patience, persistence, and perspiration. Sainia Nimboila, FBC News.